After 13 months planning, police have staged the state's biggest ever raid, targeting Sydney's alleged drug kings. 31 people have been arrested, among them well-known names. Besides drugs, police have seized millions in luxury cars, homes, even a helicopter. Still in his dressing gown with a gun pointed at his head, 60-year-old Warren Richards was target one in today's dawn raids, a series of coordinated takedowns hitting Sydney's drug underworld hard. This operation was so big, as I said, we didn't take off a tentacle here, we took out the octopus. There were 37 raids on Parramatta Road. Heavily armed officers boxed in a suspect's car as he waited at the lights. With guns drawn, they moved in. 66-year-old Henry Landini was taken into custody. In all, 31 arrests. Men and women, police say, controlled a huge sector of the city's cocaine and amphetamine trade. The majority of the charges today will be large commercial supply charges, uh, which carry a life sentence. At a house at Denham Court, they found $200,000. Mikel Abdullah was arrested and phoned his lawyer. And what, what's he saying? He's calm. Nader Barakat wasn't so calm as he was arrested. The 34-year-old cried as they raided his Cogra apartment and his ritzy Maserati parked a few streets away. A Crime Commission manual was among the paperwork they found inside. But this shiny silver toy isn't going anywhere. It'll be seized as proceeds of crime, just like a raft of luxury items police have found today. Among them, a helicopter. It was towed away from Bankstown Airport this afternoon, but police have also found a Porsche, trail bikes, guns and drugs, as well as some big names. Warren Richards competed in judo at the Montreal Olympics, but on the list, many are linked to the Wood Royal Commission and coroner's inquiries. A number of the people who were arrested today, I started working on 30 years ago when I started in, uh, in the police force. 13 months planning, six drug syndicates busted, a bad day for organised crime. Daniel Sutton, 10 News.